Hello students in our previous video we learned about stamps in their advantages and disadvantages in this video let us learn about one more aspect of water management watershed management it emphasizes on soil and water conservation in a scientific manner in order to increase and manage water resources sustainably but the question is what a watershed is is it a shed that holds water na nah. try it once more it is the area of the land that drains or sheds water into a specific water body and then helps this water seep into a bigger body of water such as a lake or a river or an ocean think of watershed as a funnel collecting all the water from the nearest area and draining it into a bigger body of water nearby it may be drop by drop or through underground water creeks and streams making its way into large water bodies and eventually into the oceans thus these areas or regions of land called watershed areas are very important for conserving water but you may be wondering what a watershed has to do with water conservation it is simple once the rain water or snow melted water from the mountains reach the watershed areas we must prevent it from flowing into the oceans and why is this it is because once this fresh water mixes with oceans it becomes salty and is of no use to us instead we must allow this water to seep into the soil by building an underground water table and this stored water in creeks and rocks underground can be pumped out whenever it is required also water stored in the ground will not be polluted by effluents and chemicals just like river water does and the ways in which we stop water from flowing away and manage these areas of land to help this water to seep into the ground is nothing but watershed management watershed management not only increases the production and income of watershed community that is people living in this watershed areas but also mitigates droughts and floods in these areas it also increases the life of downstream dams and reservoirs now what is a watershed community yes as i told you it is a group of people living in that watershed area so how does this local communities help in management of watershed areas around them these communities have used hundreds of indigenous water saving methods to collect and save every trickle of water that falls on the land they build small earthen dams called bunds and khadins and constructed dikes sand and limestone reservoirs in their area and what do you think we have done here yes we have just managed our current resources that is primary sources properly to conserve every bit of water in the watershed we can also dig small pits lakes or ponds in order to get the rain water and store it here we create or build new sources in order to manage watershed areas and thus it is the secondary source creation all of these indigenous methods have different names in each region for example khadins tanks nadis in rajasthan bandharas and tals in maharashtra boondis in madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh ahars and pines in bihar kools in himachal pradesh yes the school system we have already studied in our previous video eris in tamil nadu kattas in karnataka etc well we will also study eris in our next video as a method of rainwater harvesting but this will be interesting for you to know 
that many of our indigenous methods work excellently for both watershed management and rainwater management that is overall they work excellently for water management they maintain fine balance between both the methods all these method have not only recharged groundwater levels in wells and springs but have even brought rivers back to life thus watershed management aims to develop primary sources of land and water which are already with us or build secondary sources for use in a manner that will not cause ecological imbalance thus water harvesting techniques are highly local specific and the benefits are also localized giving people control over their local water resources ensures that the mismanagement and over exploitation of these resources are reduced or removed now this is about locals or village community what if you are living in an urban area or large cities is building barns or digging lake or a pit is possible here of course not then how can you harvest or conserve water here simple by setting up rooftop water collecting units and what are these we will see in our next video